Welcome to another episode of the Blues Heart Biker on the road in Houston. All right, um, I'm here at my gig in Lake Dallas, and uh, my buddy Dwayne used to live in Fresno, showed up here tonight. He lives in in uh, uh, in Texas now. Say hey, Dwayne, to the Blue Star Biker Channel. And he drove up, and this is his new ride right here. And uh, this thing is all, it's dark, but we got to show it. This thing's off the hook. Make it happen. Yeah. Well, that's going on the YouTube video, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Gotta love it. Can you make it jump? <laughs> Look at that, it's bouncing. You don't want to see my Corvette now. That can't do nothing like that. Look at this. Look at this. All right, man. Well, that's cool. And how long you had this car? Uh, about a month and a half. About a month and a half. Man, oh my man. That is pretty awesome, Dwayne. Cool, man. That thing is pretty cool. And what is this thing? It's a what? Cutlass. It's a cutlass. That is pretty awesome, man. Wow. All right. back we're in Houston now well the Houston area uh, we found this cool little Harley shop called Harley Davidson of Kingwood looks like an old ghost town type of a thing here an old oil town because there's the oil derrick over there and it looks like they're having a, some kind of a hog get together here um, looks like they got quite a few cool motorcycles and uh, we're gonna go check things out here uh, looks like they got some food. They got something going on here. So um, let's see how much fun we can have here. What do you think? Okay. Hey, we got Tom here. He's the director of the Hog Group. And uh, you guys got a little event going on here. What's happening? Yeah, we're doing a fundraiser for one of our Hog members. Uh, he's having a baby. Oh, a baby all right. girl. So we're raising money in diapers and stuff for him. Oh, oh, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, people within the chapter. Yeah, so ha um, you guys have a poker run going? Yeah, we've got a poker run. Everybody's out. Uh -huh. Five stops. Get the uh -huh. cards. we got an $800 first prize. $800 first one. Makes me wish I had my bike here. <laughs> $200. You don't have to have a bike. You can do it inside. Oh, we really? $200 for the worst hand. And then we got uh, participation uh, prizes for people that participate. All right. They get the drawing for that and the free... Uh, And uh, so, you get $200 for the worst, for being the worst. That's, the one, that's the one I need to get involved in. I'll win that. I never win a poker run. I always get end up with a six, four, and a three, and a two. Uh, anyways, well, great. Uh, how many members you guys got in your hog group? 125. 125. Nice group. Nice group. And, uh, and what do you run? I have a uh, 2022 uh, uh, Road Glide Limited. Nice. Very nice. All right. Well, this is Tom from the from the Hog Group here. So thanks a lot for spending a little time with us. Good. Good. What's your name? I'm CJ. CJ. All right, you're the assistant director. Oh, I'm, I'm the ladies department. The ladies department the director. All right. Well, glad to meet you. How, Thank you. And you? What's your name? Walter. Walter. All right, Walter. How are you? Good. How are you? And your name? Doing good. bikes over here the triumph speedmaster <laughs> I got some pretty cool 
the bikes here. Kingwood Hog Chapter. Yeah, man. How you guys doing? Yeah. Good. And there it is, right there. All right. All right. Well, there you go. All right. What's everybody riding? I drove the truck. It's raining. Uh -huh. 2016 tri glide. Tri glide. 2016. How about you? I want this one. There you go. No. Glide glide's a heck of a bike. How about? How about you? I got a 2020 Sports 1200. 2020 and you got a uh, Peterbilt, uh, Kenworth. Pick oh, pickup. Okay. <laughs> uh, 20, 2021 low rider race. Oh, nice, nice, very nice. All right. Well, here we are in here at Kingwood Harley Davidson. They got a nice shop in here. Look at this. All right. All right. This is a nice shop. Look at this. All right, we got Kevin from Kingwood Harley Davidson here. Yeah, so what's happening, Kevin? Not much, man. He's trying to sell motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a lot of 22 models in stock. Yeah, yeah. So what's the hottest thing you guys got as far as the 22 in stock? Uh, man, we got a lot of street bobs here right now. We got uh -huh. the new Pan America specials up there on the, the ramp. The blue one. The blue one, man. Yeah. Things flying off the shelves. These yeah. Days. These things are hard to come by. Yeah. The Low Rider S has got the 117 motor in it right there. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. That's yeah. the gray one over there. The gray one, yeah. Depends on how you want to ride, of course. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is a, the new 2022 Fat Bob. Yes, sir. It got a 114 motor on it, fat tires front and back. It's got the LED squared off headlight in the front. It's bright. Man, it's nice. Yeah. Check out this headlight. Wow. Yeah, they'll see you coming. Wow. Now this, man, they sure changes, they sure change these things around a lot. Yes, sir. Wow. It's almost yeah, it's hardly recognizable, isn't it? It's almost Sportster S ish, shouldn't it? It is. It has a lot of the same lines with the with the pipes and all that. Uh -huh. so. In the front end. Yeah. It's still a soft tail, but yeah. just uh, one fly. Yeah. Nice. It's a fun bike. Yeah. And then you say that's got a, a, a 117 front. in it. No, it's a 114. Oh, that's a 114. Low Rider S there. You Low Rider S has a 117. Okay. All right. All right. Great. Well, man, that's pretty darn cool. All right. Look at this thing. And these guys are a lot of fun, man. These little street bobs. Yeah, the street bobs are awesome. Yeah. A 114 motor on such a small frame. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to ride. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, that's a that's a beauty. Yeah. So well, awesome, man. And uh, and uh, how, when are you guys open here? We're we're open nine to six Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday through Saturday, yes, sir. right here in Kingwood. Kingwood Harley Davidson. In Kingwood, Kingwood Texas. Texas. Just yeah. north of Humble, Texas. Right, right, Humble. Yeah. So he's coming to our show tonight, That's it, Kevin rock on. is, yeah, man, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you. Well, cool. thanks for your time, Kevin, and uh, good luck selling some bikes. And uh, um, this guy over here wants to buy a bike, but we live in California, so <laughs> that's what he told me. They, uh, he told me his grand plan. I like uh, it. Sounds like a cool plan to me. Yeah. So, all right, Kevin, thanks a lot, brother. Nice to meet you. All right. All right, we got Crank here. Crank does sales and is an audio engineer, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so would you engineer the audio on the road glides and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I can do that and album, whatever you want to do. I'd oh, work. so you're... I you're... work with George Clinton, all of them. Oh, okay, so you're a musician. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Yes, so uh, around Houston here, you ever do anything with the Swisher House? I've done stuff with Swisher House, Big Mo, all of them. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah? And Harleys. Yes, You're just sir. like me. And then. I still music, Harley. music and Harleys. That's it. <laughs> All right. Best combination in the world. I got the name to go go with it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so how long you been working here? I've been working here a year now. Yeah. I've been selling Harley for four years. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 So what do you ride? I ride a road glide. Oh, all right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, beautiful, beautiful. A man bike. That's right. It sure is. <laughs> it sure is. So, all right. Frank, thanks a lot. And
sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. All right. Well, things are looking up here at the uh, Kingwood Harley Davidson. And uh, they got some really cool stuff here, really cool people. And I really had a good time hanging out here. So uh, I guess it's time to move on to the next adventure. How about that? All right, so we found a barbecue place that was highly recommended to us called the Rusty Buckle Barbecue Company. So I'm going to have my barbecue and sushi <laughs> the barbecue and sushi so i'm going to have my first uh, texas barbecue of the trip what do you think you guys ready because i due to my um, heart issues i can't eat a whole lot of salty food but i can sneak one a little bit so here we go let's go check out the rusty buckle barbecue company oh, oh yeah here we are all right yeah well this is the only place I've ever seen in the world that has a that has an in-house outhouse. Pretty cool, huh? All right. All right. What do you think, huh? Oh, they got some cookies to get started with. All right. All right. Heard. Heard that. We're good, yeah. Okay, so they just set us up here. They just brought all this food out to us. We didn't even order. They just brought all this food out. Ribs. Oh, hell yeah. Brisket. Pork belly. Burn ins. What's the name of y'all's group? Hmm? John Clifton Lisbon. Here. They got this is some sweet potato casserole, macaroni and cheese, potato salad. There's some sausage. Just stuff they brought all this out because we didn't even order this is pretty amazing here at the rusty buckle I can't believe I ate the whole thing mm -hmm. now there's still some ribs here we didn't uh, eat it all still some sausage here too but we put a pretty big dent in this stuff what do you think? You didn't know it was going to be this sweet, did you? Mm. Oh, I did. <laughs> you didn't know it was going to be this sweet, did you? <laughs> it's amazing. Right. Man, oh man. <clears throat> ah, man, the rusty buckle rocks. Okay, okay, so here we have, um, we're at the rusty buckle, and here we have Alan. How you doing, guys? And we have Sabra here. Hello. And uh, they've been our host here, and I gotta tell you what, the best barbecue I've had, um, can't, I can't think of anything any better I've had. So, great. Boxes. Yeah, of yeah, we need to-go boxes over there. So, uh, how long have you had the shop here? We've been open just over three years. Yeah, yeah, and uh, what's your specialty? Um, brisket is king in Texas. Yes. Uh, we do a pretty good beef rib. I think y'all had a couple yeah, of those. Yeah, beef rib was great. Um, some of our sides are pretty original. Uh, the Dirty Mac. Yeah. Uh, that bourbon blackberry cobbler yeah. is uh, made with bird dog bourbon mm -hmm. from scratch. And the uh, redneck what sushi. The What's... redneck sushi is breakfast sausage stuffed with shrimp and cheese and peppers and wrapped in bacon and painted with pepper jelly. There you go. It doesn't get any better than that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did. We did. It was wonderful. And uh, thanks a lot for having us. Thanks a lot for making us feel welcome in Texas. Absolutely. You bet. I'll enjoy it. Man. Texas Have rocks. And, uh, if uh, anybody is in the Houston area, you're going to take about a 30 minute drive. What are we, northwest? Just north of Houston, north, northeast. Northeast. Up to 59, 69, 44. Uh huh. Uh, we're at Community Drive. We're 99 dumps in uh, from the west. So you're a short drive from Spring or um, points west. Okay. And then uh, just up from Houston proper. All right. Minutes. And and this what's the name of this town? King is this, this King? Is New Caney. It's between New Caney and Porter. Okay, so we're in New Caney, Texas. And so um, just Google us or look for us on no Rusty Buckle Barbecue. Rusty Buckle Barbecue. There you go. And I recommend this highly. They're the greatest hosts and uh, nicest folks here and. Uh, the best food that I've had since I've been on the trip. So awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Here y'all try. Um... Oh, I already brought up cookies earlier. But you can have more if you liked them. All right. Barbecue cookie. Barbecue sauce cookie. All right. That's gonna be interesting.
So, all right. Well, thank you. you thank you. Thank you. Crew. And you guys have a good one. We really do appreciate you. All right. Nice. Now, you're not going to believe what just happened here at the Rusty Buckle Barbecue. Um, we went in there. We had a little trouble deciding what we really wanted to order. So he says, just sit down. Trust me. I'm going to get you good stuff. So he brings out what you saw, all that food. And we were just amazed by this food. And uh, he says, yeah, I'm going to set you guys up real nice. And I want you to know that, uh, you know, folks in Texas, we like people from California. We're good people here. And I said, yeah, I know you are. And we get ready to go and we go to settle up. And he says, it's on the house. So we got that whole spread of food on the house. I was really impressed with that. Nice guy, nice food. Come down here and, and uh, uh, the prices of it are reasonable anyway. And uh, great. So it doesn't get any better than that. I'd like to thank these guys at the Rusty Buckle for being so cool and so hospitable. We really do appreciate it. All right, well, let's move on and see what else is going on here. You smell like wine in your Keith came to the show tonight, uh, my buddy from Instagram, Raise the Road, right? Yeah, Raise yeah, the Road. Yeah, and um, how's things going for you? You Man. guys rode down here. It's cold. Yeah. The first yeah. night, it's been cold in weeks. A little chilly. Uh, it's it's kind of chilly tonight, but... Uh, it's only 37, yeah, right? 37, 36. that's that's, that's 37, all right. 36. Yeah. So, and you guys ride all the time. We do. Yeah. So we're full-time travelers. Uh, we're on the road, except my wife is finishing a master's degree, unfortunately, in Houston. So we're stuck here till May. Yeah. But then we're back on the road, and we'll be in uh, Colorado, uh, Wyoming, Montana, and then we'll be back in Sturgis first of uh, August. And that's what I was going to ask you, I, man. I hope you guys are going to be in Sturgis. Um, you, you guys know, should be playing. You in know Sturgis. what? We might be because I'm going to be out on the road at that time, so I might be able to round something up in oh, Sturgis. You guys should be. If anybody's out there in Sturgis wants a, a John Clifton Blues Band, a Blues Heart Biker, to come, come on. out and play. Come on out. Yeah, I'm telling let you, us know. they would be worth. Just, just sign them up, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, man, there's so many, there's so many places out there that you can play. Yeah, man, a yeah. lot of live music, and you guys would just. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I haven't been to the motorcycle rally, but I've been to Sturgis, and I see what's happening there. Yeah, that would be great because we are going to be on the road at that time, so yeah. we're going to be in the Midwest. So, and it's a, it's a fun deal. I mean, we only started going to Sturgis two years ago. Yeah. And I had a weird idea about Sturgis, right? Yeah. I mean, my thing was I thought Sturgis was this wild party. And it can be, yeah. But it can be, even if you, you can bring a family to service, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it's what you want to make it. Right? Sure, sure, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, awesome. And uh, so, what's the what's the longest ride you guys have gone on? How how how? Uh, at longest at one time, I think forty five hundred miles. Wow. So. Wow. And, uh, 
Yeah. yeah. So uh, I just got this bike uh, nine months ago, and she's already got thirteen thousand miles on her. Let's go try to look at it. It's dark outside, but let's go try to look yeah, at we'll the bike and see what's happening. What is it? So in case we can't see. Sure, what it's it a is. twenty-one uh, Road Glide CVO. CVO. Let's go. Nothing. Nothing. No, you have nothing else for long-term, long-distance riding, right? No, no, yeah, that's, that's it. All right. Well, let's go take a quick All look. Right. I'm not so sure we can see much of it, but turn some lights on. Oh, there we go. We get to see a little bit of it let's here. See to, let's see if I can get the. That's some pretty cool handlebars on it. There we go. My lights have been jacked up, so you know, let's. Uh, I got that on, so we'll fire it up. Oh, wait, I might want to unlock it. Awesome. Yeah, I've been. Uh, and you got thirteen thousand miles on 13, her already. Thirteen thousand miles I mean, on her already. That's for real. That's for She's real. A, she rolls down the road. I got a, and I got a tour pack. So with my wife yeah. rides, I got the, I got the uh, passenger uh, pillin and yeah. the tour pack. Yeah. And uh, so. Awesome. She's a trooper. The very first long ride we ever went on was a iron. We did an iron butt. Oh wow! Uh, we did fifth. We did a uh, thousand miles in nineteen hours. Wow! To start from New Orleans to Sturgis. Wow! A few years ago, and then we did fifteen hundred miles that same trip in thirty-two miles in thirty-two hours. Wow! So that's pretty. That was her awesome. very first like long wow. trip, and she was like, "Let's do it." I'm yeah. like, All right. Well. Well, that's awesome, man. Well, let's get in out of the cold, yeah, man. Thank you for showing that you to bet. me, man. That's just absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much.